you got me handcuffed for breaking my own damn window. I had a heart out, my I just got out of the hospital. Help! Help! Hey, stop screaming. Scream again. Go ahead. Help! Ah! You scream again. You, ah! Ah! Hey, you again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Want some more? Go ahead. Yeah. Put it on. Keep on talking. Isaiah. Take me. Hey, you have the right to remain silent. Yes. You give up that right to remain silent. Uh, Anything you say can uh, be used against you in court. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story comes out of Port Allen, Louisiana, where multiple officers respond to Izell Richardson's home after it was reported that he had broken a window to his own home just before 3 a.m. in an attempt to gain access after losing his keys. Izell told the officers that it was his home, but he was cuffed and put into a cruiser, and that's when the call went from bad to worse. Come on, come on, come out of there before I light you up. Light me up, man. Come on, this come on out of there. This is my house. Come I'm, out of there. I'm paying for this house. I bought everything here. Don't, I'm, I got a bag back, don't grab them. Come on out of there. I'm coming come out. Come out of there. Get up, get I'm up before I light you up. Get up. I got a bag back. I don't care what you got. Get up. I know you don't. I know you don't. Get up. I know you don't. You didn't have I a bag back when you thought we had busting that lady windows. That's my house. This is my, I'm the one paying for this house. I'm the one putting the sign on them. Ain't nobody Shut doing nothing but me. Cuff him. Cuff him. Good. I'm gonna put your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. Then you got the hammer in the rug. Put your hands behind your back. Cuff. Alright. Put your hands behind your back. I'm feeling. Let me put my phone up. Put your phone in your pocket. Cuff. This is my house. I pay. I'm paying for this. Nobody but me. Man, man, he hit me with that damn deck. I mean, you wouldn't cuff him and put me in jail. This is my house. This is my shit. I'll pay for everything here. Put him in the back. Hmm, I ain't tell you go in. I'm gonna go in the back. Wait. Yes, sir. She don't run nothing back over here. She don't run shit hey, over here. Hush it up. Stop moving. You think we're in the car? Yeah, I'm when I take you there. Yes, sir. On um, this back, I told him I lost my damn key. I ain't stupid. Hey, shut up. She ain't got nothing to do with over here. Huh. I'm gonna take you to bed. I swear on my butt. Turn around the outside. Yes, sir. You ain't got a hammer in the rock. I'm gonna do good with you that. that. You couldn't put the seat, your front seat up. I they don't move. I can't. Okay. My legs, I got a bad back. I can, where I'm gonna get at? Turn around with your butt in the seat. Lay down. No. Step forward. Well, I'm up on my legs. Step forward. Turn around. Put your butt on the seat. There you go. Face me. Turn around. Put your butt on the seat. Step up. Step on the running board. There you go. Exciting. <coughs> and look. Cut the acting up. I got out the ride. Please. Cut the acting up. Down. Turn. Please. I can't turn my legs. I can't turn my legs. Put your legs in. Well, how? Put your leg in. How? Do it. Man, I can't put my legs in here. Put me in put the front. Put your leg in. How, you in your how am I put it in the front? Show me how. Show me how. Don't put it on my back. leg, man. Slide back. Slide back. Where I'm going to slide? Tell me. Just get over, man. Just I can't on. get... Where I'm gonna, I can't get my leg in there. Just switch your feet. Push your feet. How much? I can't get my leg in there. Bring me see them. this way. But lay down, I lay no, down. Scoot with your butt. Don't pull on my back, babe. Please don't pull on. I no, had a heart out, my bitch. I, will, I just I'm got out the heart get... pillow. Despite telling the officers of a recent heart operation, the following occurred. Hey, stop, stop, and just listen to me. Please, just scoot. I lay down. Way. I can lay down. No, don't lay down. Just scoot your butt. Huh? I, I, there you go. Push a little bit further. further. Push it further. Don't push my. Don't push on me. I'm, I'm not pushing on you. Just holding your foot still. We're trying to be patient with you, man, but you gotta work with us here. Come on. Now scoot with your butt. Come on, scoot a little bit more. I can't. Put your seat up. Scoot your butt in. Put this up. We can't. This is locked in place. Yeah, that's mounted. Well, I... Man, you got me handcuffed for breaking my own damn window. Scoot this way, man. Scoot over. I can't get in here. Do you need help? Take him out of there. Call. Wait. Help! Help! Hey, hey, stop screaming. Stop that shit. Scream. Scream again. Go ahead. Help! Ah! Bitch, 
you, you stop it. You scream again. You motherfucker. You scream again. You, ah! Ah! You understand? Ah! You understand? Come on, Ooh, we're gonna take it We're gonna book him in for the ah! You bitch. You Izell has now been tased twice while handcuffed because he was yelling for help just moments after informing the officers of a recent heart operation. Neither took his age or condition into account. It also sounds as though one of the officers laugh after putting Izell into the cruiser. <laughs> The Eighth Amendment states that excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted, even if the disturbing the peace charge holds, which I imagine won't, intentionally tasing a 67-year-old man for using his vocal cords while handcuffed and detained in the back of a cruiser is cruel, unusual, inhumane, evil, brutal, barbaric. You get the point. This type of retaliation for the word help is what I would expect from a hardened criminal. In my opinion, Officer Nolan Dehan III's actions fit the bill. The officers put together that the window in question was indeed Izell's, and that they couldn't charge him with anything regarding it, so they agreed to go with disturbing the peace and resisting. That's, uh, that's pretty much his window. So ain't nothing we can do about that. This is the succession house. But now it's disturbing the peace. Right? Yeah, he's just doing, doing, doing all that hollering, yeah. <laughs> We couldn't do you nothing about the window. You just wouldn't shut up with all that hollering. Ah, uh -uh, you goddamn lie. Officer Dehan tells Izell that they couldn't do anything about the window, so the question becomes, why was he handcuffed and arrested in the first place? Wouldn't you yell if you were being kidnapped? Izell asked to be taken to the hospital three times, notifying the officers of an open heart procedure two months prior, back pain and lacerations from the cuffs, but it took 40 minutes for them to transport. Oh, we take me to the hospital. Take me to the hospital. We're going to the PD first. I did a uh, triple bypass. I, I had a baby back. Man, I just had an open heart surgery. I just I ain't been out of the hospital in two months. Take me to the hospital. Take me to the fucking hospital. What's up? Richardson filed a complaint against Officer Dehan. The matter was investigated by the Port Allen Police as well as the West Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office, and Officer Dehan was later arrested for malfeasance in office and aggravated battery, but has not been indicted for the felony offenses. He has been on unpaid leave from the department for several weeks. The Port Allen Police Chief has called the use of force unjustified and intends to push for Dehan's termination when the City Council meets in May. So as always, let me know down below what you think should happen. Should Officer Dehan be terminated? How much jail time does he deserve? Should his qualified immunity be stripped? Or should the taxpayers foot the bill in the upcoming lawsuit? Should the other officers be held accountable for their inaction? I have a feeling I know your answers, but I'm inclined to ask regardless. Tease me for nothing, for breaking my own one. You, and kid me, you, I just show you why I would. You, about the dumbest police I ever seen. You know this is shit. I ain't got no trouble with you. You ain't got to, you ain't got to do all this thing. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.